Hey guys, welcome back to YouTube Figure Unboxing. If you're finding me for the first time, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the future content. And in this video, we're going to take a look at Figma number 334, Corrine from Fire Emblem Fates. And for your information, I don't know too much about Fire Emblem. Um, I've never played a game, but I do find their characters very, very cool. And I do have a lot of friends that play them, so I know about them. And I think I'm going all in for now. Um, but anyways, um, here's the left of the box, here's the right of the box, and here's the back of the box. And that's not wasting any more time and bust this thing open and see what we got. And here we have the figure still in their inner packaging and she came with a bare minimum. Um, not that she really needs that many accessories but another faceplate or two would have been nice because for $70 this is kind of ridiculous but I think I've kind of got used to it by now and let's check out the figure itself. She looks really really good though. And here we have the figure itself and I have to say um, she looks amazing, beautiful, cute, delightful, elegant, um, you guys get the idea. I can keep going like for every letters, but she's all of the above. Um, in terms of looks, it's pretty much perfect. Um, very nicely painted and sculpted. And let's just take a closer look at the figure. Um, everything looks very, very nice. Um, I do have some paint bleeding here and there, but it's not too bad. But for $70, I can see some people getting pissed about this though. Um, but personally, I think it looks good enough. Um, nothing really stands out that I have to um, get a replacement. But anyways, um, let's check out the articulation. And for the articulation, let's quickly go over it from the neck down. Um, she can look up about this much, look down about this much, and you can turn her head no problem. And the hair doesn't have a figma joint, which I find it pretty surprising. So when you try to move, it just kind of springs back. Um, I don't know, so you can't really do any dynamic pose with this, which kind of sucks. And the shoulder is just on a standard ball joint. Uh, you can raise her arm up about this much, and you do have some shoulder swivel. Um, I saw it as on bicep swivel with a figma joint, and you can curl about this much, and you do have the ball wrist. And for the ab crunch, um, you can bend forward about this much. Um, wait, let me find the right angle. Excuse me. So you can bend forward about this much, bend backwards about this much. You do have some side to side movement. All this is on a softer material, including the diaper piece over here. So she can kick her leg up about this high. Okay, so for those of you who are curious, there you go. And you can bend about this much. And you do have side to side pivot. And you do have the toe hinge as well. And I believe that's it for the articulation. Um, for her little cape, it's just on two on Figma joint over here. Not my favorite design, but it's okay. Not too bad. And let's check out the accessories. And for the accessories, we can start with the default face. And as expected from Max Factory, it looks exactly the same, if not better than a video game. It's amazing. And next up, we get one shouting expression, which looks pretty good as well. And for the interchangeable hands, first off, we get a pair of display open hands, which is pretty standard for Figma figures. Um, very nicely painted and sculpted. It looks really good. And then we have a slightly grippy display open hands. And I think I like this one better than the regular display open hands. Um, hopefully, they can include this for other figures as well. And lastly, of course, we get a pair of hands to hold a Yano blade. Um, very nicely painted and sculpted, of course. And let's try to assemble this. And here I have her assemble with the Yato no Kami, and it looks amazing. And lastly, she came with a crystal, which I know nothing about, but it's a very nice piece of translucent plastic. Give me that. Yeah, looks really good. And of course, I got a pre-order bonus, the Omega Yato Blade. I think for accessories like this, it's just too important to not have. And yeah, um, let's try to assemble this. And here I have her assemble with the Omega Yato Blade, and it looks amazing. I'm glad that I picked this up. And I believe that's it for the accessories, and let's check out some action poses. Anyways, um, that was just some quick posing. Um, it's still a little bit tricky without a Figma stamp, but for the most part, she can handle her weight very well, as long as you find a balance. And let's check out the size comparison. And for the size comparison, we can start with some of the Figma figures I have around, and I think they look great together. And next up, we have some recent Dragon Ball SH figure arts. Naruto SH figure arts. Some recent American IP SH figure arts. The articulated Icons Ninjas. And then we have some SH figure arts Street Fighters figures. 
And lastly, we have some Mesco 112 Collective, and they look very good together as well. And if you're still looking for a good quality trench coat for your Mesco 112 Punisher, I am selling them as my first product for my startup. Um, I plan to make this startup into my long-term goal. Um, I'm gonna just focus on 112 scale um, clothing. And if you have any ideas or you know anything you would like to see, um, do let me know in the comments. But for now, I'm working on my own brand of Akatsuki rope and a trench coat for Joker, and maybe your bike jacket for Wolverine. We'll see how it goes. Um, and I really appreciate if you guys can help me spread the words a little bit and follow me on Facebook. Um, but anyways, um, let's jump straight into the final thoughts. Alright, so for the final thoughts, aside from a lack of accessories and the expensive price tag, the figure is pretty much perfect in my opinion. There's just something about Fire Emblem characters that really gets me. Like It's really appealing to me. They look very, very good. Um, hopefully they can make other characters as well. I would really love to see some male characters like Ike and Roy. Um, but anyways, I think that's it from me. Um, do let me know in the comments on what you think. And this is Eric. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.